Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about something that's been getting a lot of attention lately. Valve's new anti-cheat system built for Counter-Strike 2. It's called VAC Live and it works very differently from what we've had before. But is it really going to stop cheaters? Well, we are going to break it down in today's video. So, before starting, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me a lot. Make sure to join the Discord server and you can go down in the comments if you have any suggestions or questions. So, without further ado, what is VAC Live? Well, it's a smarter anti-cheat system that watches games as they happen. So instead of just checking your files or running scans once in a while, this system looks at how people are playing in real time. It tracks things like aim speed, movement and reaction time and then compares them to what normal human behavior looks like. If something is way off, then it flags that player. This whole thing runs on AI, on machine learning. That means it was trained and it is being trained by studying a ton of real match data, like how normal players or cheaters aim, shoot and move and more. When someone goes far outside those patterns, like snapping instantly to heads or hitting impossible shots again and again, the system noticed. So this is especially useful for catching rage hackers. You know, the obvious ones spinning around and hitting every shot through the walls. Those get picked up pretty fast now, sometimes even mid game or usually mid game. So here's where it gets tricky. A lot of cheats these days are designed to look legit. Subtle aim assist or wall hex or aim bots with a very low field of view don't go overboard, they are still very hard to spot even for AI. That's because those players still move and shoot almost like normal players, the system might not notice something weird or might notice something weird, but not enough to confidently say they are cheating so they don't always get flagged. It's very important for VAC Live to have a very well defined line between legit players and legit cheating players and cheaters in general and it's better to leave some cheaters unharmed than to you know apply um, apply things like cooldowns or bans to legit players which don't do anything wrong so some games like valorant use something called a kernel level anti-cheat which i've talked about in the video before this one you can click in the right top side to see that video, well those kernel anti-cheats give deeper access to your system to catch more cheats. That's effective, but Valve doesn't want to go that far. They've said they care a lot about player privacy and they want to avoid that kind of system. So you can watch my latest video to learn what a kernel anti-cheat is, but in short it has access to everything on your computer. So you must trust this billion dollar company with all your data if you want to play that game which Valve is not okay with and I find it that's a good trade off. So that means their anti-cheat only watches what happens inside the game, speaking for VAC Live, not what's running in the background on your PC. It's a trade off, as I said, more privacy but also less control. So the big question remains, can this system really stop cheaters? And the answer is kind of, but it's actually a good answer. If you're tired of rage cheaters ruining games, this will help a lot. It's really good at removing the most obvious hacks quickly. But the quiet, more soft cheats, uh, those are going to be harder to stop unless the system keeps improving or Valve changes their approach. So for now, those players still seep through. But here's where the good news comes. as any machine learning project out there, it's made to be continuously trained and it will be trained, it will be feeded more data and over the years or months, so as months go by, uh, the system will get better and better. It will have more data to rely on, it will better understand the differences and it will start banning more cheaters. Now, again, that line must be set. so it's not going to be able to get rid of 100% of the cheaters, but I'm very confident that if not bypassed, it will get rid of all the rage cheaters, or at least a big portion of them, and it will hit some 
mm, legit cheaters as well because I know they cannot stand someone else in their game cheating and at one point or another they will start being more aggressive with the cheats and that's the moment Vaclive will step in. So as a wrap up overall it's a big step in the right direction. Matches are already feeling cleaner and blatant cheaters are getting fewer but there's as I said still work to do. AI is powerful but it's not magic, especially in a competitive game like CS2, it's going to take time to get this right and that's how it should be. Uh, in the end, thank you for watching, if you like this breakdown, hit the like and subscribe button and join the discord server if you want to talk more, to, if you want to talk more about these subjects or game developing or coding and uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.